now the next section is about paragraph question number 51 and 52 box 1 contains 3 cards bearing numbers 1 2 3 box 2 contains 5 cards bearing numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and box 3 contains 7 cards bearing numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 a card is drawn from each of the boxes let x i be the number on the card drawn from the ith box correct now the probability that x1 plus x2 plus x3 is odd and the second question is the probability that x1 x2 x3 are in ap so we have to solve these two questions of probability based on the given paragraph some x1 plus x2 plus x3 is odd question number 51 it is possible if all odd or two even one odd correct now when all are odd means from box one it can be one or three that is 2c1 from box 2 it can be 135 that is 3c1 box 3 it can be 1357 so the favorable cases 2c1 multiplied with 1357 4c1 for the third one and 135 that is 3c1 for the second plus even one odd let's consider from box 1 we get odd number from box 1 it is odd that is 2c1 correct from box 2 it is even that is 2 or 4 so it is 2c1 from box 3 it is even that is 2 4 6 that is 3c1 plus box 2 gives me odd number that is 3c1 when box 2 has given me odd number in that case box 1 has given me even 1c1 box 3 has given me even 3c1 so 1c1 3c1 plus third gives odd that is 4c1 1c1 and from second box that is 2c1 so these are the favorable cases which we can sum up as 12 to the 24 plus 12 plus 9 plus 8 that is final digit comes as 53 so these are the favorable cases hence the required probability equals 53 divided by total cases that is 3 into 5 into 7 or 53 divided by 105 this is question number 51 so the correct answer is b let's talk about question number 52 question number 52 the probability that x1 x2 x3 are in ap we have to find this probability now let's consider x1 is 1 if x1 is 1 that means x3 should not be even because even plus odd divided by 2 will give me a fractional value which is not there in box 2 so when x1 is 1 x3 can be 1 3 5 7 out of these four means so there are total four cases if x1 is 2 in that case x3 should be even that means 2 4 6 in total three possible cases when we take x1 and x3 x2 is automatically fixed if x1 is 3 then x3 can be 1 3 5 7 that is again four cases so total 11 favorable cases therefore the required probability is 11 divided by again same number 105 as written in the last question that's correct let's move to the next paragraph question 